So ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined in the studio today with a guy who's already made a big name for himself in the Irish country music scene. A former member of the chart-topping band D-Side, but he's now turned his attention to filling dance halls with Irish country music lovers. It is, of course, the one and only Mr. Derek Ryan. So Derek, welcome to Destination Country, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to come along here to us today. Thank you very much. I suppose I should begin by asking a wee bit about your background in music. Where did it all start for you? Um, well, I first started, I suppose, gigging when I was about 12. Okay. Um, so very, very young, but it was just... Uh, locally with my brother and uh, just as a hobby really okay. during the summer and different things and uh, playing the drums and singing and, and then as I got older I got into like a bit of Oasis and a bit of rock and pop and yeah. but we always loved Garth Brooks I went to see Garth Brooks when I was 12 and it just really you know I loved country music from yeah. then on really and then all the Irish guys of course as well and, and then at about 17, 18 I got signed to um, Warner in London Sorry. and I moved to London then with, with the band the boy band yeah and but then it was always the plan to come back and do a country album right. and eventually about 10 years later <laughs> but um a good while later i decided to i wrote a song called god's plan and that was it really just took off from there okay very good it's obvious music was your passion and you have a love for it apparently you even abandoned a degree in accountancy to take up music uh what would you say have been your big influences on your musical career so far what artists um i suppose artist wise as i said garrett brooks um i love some kind of you know, old school country as well, like yeah. Hank Williams and Johnny Cash and that type of thing, you know. Um, and modern, then I suppose Keith Urban, um, a little bit of Brad Paisley. Yes. Um, Did you see him in concert? I didn't. Yeah, <sighs> just a little bit, just a little bit of him. Now. I'd be more of a, a Keith Urban man now, right, I think. Right. But um, I like I like all types of music. Like, I love uh, I love Michael Bublé as well, you know. Um, I think he's the, Ollie best, Merge? the best singer. A little bit of Ollie, maybe. <laughs> I love your taking this new single. <laughs> I like his song, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, you can't beat that Motown, the old That's Motown it, yeah, beat, you know. Yeah. So you've made the transition from pop star to country star very successfully. How have you found it? Um, I love it. I love it. I, I, I much prefer it um, to the pop scene, to be honest, because it's, it's, um, it's very real, you know. Yeah. What you see is what you get. And, you know, you get to, I suppose you get, you get to meet your, your fans or you, yes. you're, you're up close and... And uh, get to know them, and and the Very loyalty, personal. the loyalty is 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 a big thing, you know. Yeah. Um, like we would have people come maybe twice a week, maybe three times a week, depending on, you know, yeah. where we were, and to come and see us, and you know, you don't, you just don't have that in the pop scene because people move on very quickly. Yeah, very true. So rumor has that you're in the Paul Claffey Portugal tour this year. How did you find that, and can we expect any more from Portugal in 2013? Rumors, I don't like rumors. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, it was great um, yeah. and I did the, the Hooli in the Sun as well yes. um, for Declan, Declan Ernie and they were brilliant I mean they really are fun in the sun and everyone's up for the music and the, and the dance and the crack and yeah again you get to meet people that you mightn't get to meet all the time exactly. like there was people there from Scotland uh, Wales England you know you name it any tours for 2013 abroad? we do um, there's lots of things in the pipeline we have a well, we have a concert tour of Ireland um uh, in place and we also have a tour of the UK yeah. um, and we have about three or four different trips yeah, okay. abroad so very good I get, I get to see the sun at some stage yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're a singer songwriter and a lot of your material is your own and very original um, do you find it difficult sitting down to write material or how does it all come about um, I never actually sit down to, to write because so I, I used to do it quite a lot and it makes it it, it makes it difficult you know sometimes you know if yeah. you're um if I get an idea, I will sit down and I'll really work at it then, you know. But um, every now and again, an idea might come. And some, sometimes it works out and sometimes it doesn't. And, yeah. You know, so. But I enjoy it, you know. That's the main thing. So. How would you pick the songs for your albums? Ooh. A lot of thought. <laughs> Difficult job. Thought. Yeah, I'm just not the kind who will just record a song and put it on an album. Yeah. I need to think about how the album sits. And I like the album to kind of have a nice balance. It's all, almost like a gig, really. Right. You know, because yeah. people are going to sit down and yeah, maybe have in the car game. and they might be on a long journey. It could be two quarters of an hour of, yeah. and you need to think about what's opening up. And, yeah. you know, I, 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 but I love that that side of it, you know, but um, picking the songs is is uh, is tough. You know, you want to get the right. Who would have thought so? The right bands. Any plans for a live album in the pipeline at all? Hopefully um, in the new year, there'll be a live DVD and an album. OK. But I have some other ideas for albums, and I don't know what it's going to be this year, or the coming year, or the following year, but I have lots of ideas up here. So. Sounds good, we'll look forward <laughs> to that. 
So you had a very successful concert tour this year. You toured around Ireland. Um, as mm. you said, you have more for next year. That was one of my questions. Um, mm. Will there be any around this area? And if so, will there be any in Uri? Um Possibly, yeah. Very possibly. We were, we had a very successful tour and we're just going to broaden it. So, I mean, we're going to hit as many areas as possible. And okay. I got a lot of good feedback from the concerts too, saying that people got to know you more personalised about how the songs were wrote and where the inspiration for them all came from. So, yeah, it seems there was a good response from it. That's the, that's the beauty of a concert, I suppose. You can kind of calm down and yeah. relax and, you know, talk to the audience. And, yeah. you know, at a dance, you know, I love, I love doing the dances, but it's it's... You know, belted oh, yeah. out the whole yeah. the whole night, yeah. but uh, with a concert because I, I write the songs as well. I, I can I can chat about them, and then when people I suppose know what the song's about, they can uh, sit back and actually listen to yeah. the lyrics. And then you know, people have come up to me after concerts and go, I, mean, I never knew that song was about yeah. that," or you know. So speaking about that, there's one song I need to ask you about. Where did the inspiration come for "Kiss Me, Mary"? Kiss Me, Mary. Um. I'd, <laughs> I'd be honest with you, I could, I could make up a story, but basically I was writing with a friend of mine in, in London and we had this kind of, I came and I had this um, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me one more time mm. and he was going, we need a name, you know, give me a, a good Irish name and I was like, Mary <laughs> and uh, that was it, so there's no Mary, like there's no, um, there's no actual Mary, Okay. but there is a Belle of Liverpool. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she wasn't my bad at Liverpool, but uh, there is there is. A we point. have a co-presenter on the show. Would like you to change the name to Kiss Me Something Else. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you could guess who that was. Oh, it's sang to me many times from the from the floor. <laughs> kiss me, whatever. Kiss me, Jerry. Quite a lot. Actually, been hogging the stage. Yeah. So you have three very successful albums out at the minute: The Mother's Son, Made of Gold, and of course the latest. We've been giving it a good plug here in Destination Country Thank with Dreamers and Believers. Yeah. As well as that, you released your first DVD this year, the Singles Collection. How has that been received by your the fans? Singles Collection. Yeah, I mean it's going very well. Um, you know, we we put it out because um, had all the DVDs and people were just asking me for a DVD because it's, I suppose there's a lot of people who, you know, would um, like to sit back at home and yeah. just relax and look at look at you know you on TV. So and because of the popularity of all the shows on Sky TV, yes. people do see the videos and want to see them yes. more regularly, you know, so um, it's going great. And Dreamers and Believers, may I add, is four weeks in the Irish uh, indie charts at the moment. So, um, and it's up to number 14, which I'm very proud of. So Couldn't believe it. I walked into HMV last week and seen Derek Ryan, Dreamers and Believers on the shelf. You would never have imagined that four years ago. And my sister is a big Ollie Moores fan. And there was a picture in HMV of Ollie was at number five and I think I was at number six or seven or something and I was having a great major achievement for you yeah <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure you've noticed yourself from you started out in the road till today there's been a big uh, turnaround in the generations going to the country dancing scene you've yourself played a big part of this I'm sure how does that um, how do you take that yeah it's it's brilliant you know um, I suppose with all the young artists out at the moment you know it's keeping it really fresh and the music is is, is great you know I love almost every song I hear from different yeah. people you know Um and that's the way, the more the merrier, that's the way I look at it, you know, keep it, keep it coming. And the more artists there is, the better, you know. I stack up the jive. <laughs> <laughs> up the jive. So, Full House on Saturday night, hopefully Full House tonight. You've enjoyed it so far, brilliant year for 2012. Yeah, I mean, there's a big, 2012 has just been a, a great year. There was a, you know, a great push from, I have a great team of people working with me and a great band. And we just worked really, really hard to get up to, and, and as you say, there's, Full houses and great crowds at gigs, so yeah. I'm a happy man now going, coming into Christmas, <laughs> the new year. I would say, so any time off over Christmas? No, not really, no. <laughs> <laughs> I know, Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, I'll go home and uh, relax, and then we're back into it then, Boxing Day, so. And uh, we have two weeks holidays in January, so. Busy season ahead. Mm. So you've cracked Ireland, the UK and Portugal by the sounds of it too. What are the plans for Derek Ryan and the band ahead for 2013 and beyond? I mean, beyond, you know, we're... Really, we're, we're doing dances and, and concerts as well. We really want to take the concert show elsewhere, you know. And, um, you know, I get a lot of emails from even further abroad, like Australia and Canada yeah. and places that I've heard God's Plan and Mother's Son and Made of Gold. All those originals seem to really well seem to go down well, you know. So um, we're going to look into that as well. And we're just constantly building and working hard. Very good. Well, I'm glad it's going Enjoying well for you. Once again, Derek, thank you so much for joining thank us here you. in Destination Country. It's been Cheers. a pleasure and a privilege. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans before we go? Well, just... Thank you very much for all the support for all the requests on the radio stations. Um, that really plays a big, you know, yeah. a big part and the TV shows as well. And just coming to the dances, I mean, it's it's great. Yeah. Well, best of luck with them. Best of luck with 2013. And once again, thank you for joining us here in Destination Country, ladies and gentlemen. Derek Ryan.